Hey everybody, it's Mafia Life Chris from MafiaLife.com and MafiaPayday.com. I came across an interesting video a few weeks ago while doing research for a project, brainstorming with my mob candy friends, and appeared some costume wearing fairy looking like a Santa's elf but sounding a bit tough was doing a video blog on magazines. He seemed to think they were disrespecting the law somewhat. If I recall, besides claiming my friends were affiliated with organized crime, and even more ignorant, implied the Mob Candy magazine was supporting drug dealers, criminals, laundering money, and illegal businesses. Curtis Sliwa asked, how can they exist with no advertising? The Mob Candy magazine. I'm responding to the stupidity. Here's the first magazine he picked up. Very nice. He complimented the print and the, the, the style, the interviews, and the quality. And I appreciate that. But he said there were no ads. On the first page, there's a full page ad here. I'm going to go through them fast, not to, you know, bore you. But here's another one for a movie and a restaurant. Here's another one for a TV show. Cars. A car ad. Automobile. What's this? Lounge. Coffins. Merchandise. And a full back page ad for cigars. The second one, I'll go a little faster. Liquor. Cafe. Nandu wine. Carnivore steakhouse. Michael's in Brooklyn restaurant. Milwaukee Best Burgers. More liquor. Pokerchick.com. Runway Lounge. Milwaukee Street Lounge. More merchandise. DVDs. Sculptures, more videos and DVDs from Adam and Eve, and again, a full page ad of cigars. More liquor, repeat ads apparently. Designers, cigars, energy drinks. TV show again, video games, construction companies, choppers, Beverly Hills choppers, merchandise, escorts, video games cafes and again cigars the fuck you talking about man you know this magazine was bred from blood sweat and tears from a very small group that fucking busted their ass every day it doesn't support anything more than historical mob content, controversial politics discussions, the pleasures, entertainment, stories, and interviewed geared towards the mob enthusiasts. You called your blog Street Smarts. What you should have called it was Street Stupidity. You're not fit to speak on Smarts, Street Smarts, 
fact, the only time you should open your fat mouth is to eat. Do your research before you open your mouth, scumbag. You just open the can of worms. You just pissed off MafiaLife.com, MobCandyMag.com, MafiaPayday.com, DonRigoCigars.com, and most importantly, the owner of the Mob Candy Magazine, Uncle Frankie. I like to see what you got to say about this douchebag.